Well, they sad. just need to know this is his last day at Bowser High School. Yeah. I'm over it. A tense situation at Bowser High School today as it goes on a nearly three hour lockdown due to a possible gun in the school. The district says students were never in danger. Kaylee Kirby, she was outside the school as all of this was happening. Kaylee, tell us more about what you saw out there today. Yeah, Melissa and Jeff, anger, frustration, and lots of questions, mainly from these parents who got messages from their cool kids inside the school saying that they were on lockdown. Now, officials with TPS tell us the rumors that the school went on lockdown circulated about a student having a weapon. Officers with Toledo Police and the school district took action to check all the students, classrooms, and hallways. No weapons were found after this search. School officials say the search took longer than they expected, but they wanted it to be thorough and make sure everyone was safe. Oh, there is still anger tonight and frustration from these parents. They say weapon or not, there is a major lack of communication when it comes to what is happening inside their kids' school. TPS still ain't called my phone, but I bet you they called me about a COVID threat before they called me about the school shutdown. No, and this would not be like the last time where this went on and y'all called me, told me something. Please take down all the posters you have. This is not the image we want for our school. You care more about your image than you do my son. I will be withdrawing my son from your school. Now care about that. Now, these parents say that they are thankful their kids are safe tonight, but they want the district to be more accountable. They want to know what is going on if something is going on tonight at six. Hear more from parents about why they are so frustrated when things like this happen live tonight in Toledo. Kaylee Kirby WTOL 11. And it's true, today's incident at Bowser is one of many recently. The school reported several fights last month. Some got so out of hand, an officer had to use pepper spray to control a crowd. There was also a report of a student having a gun in class in September. Police at that time checked every room and found nothing. Police did arrest a 16-year-old for having a loaded ghost gun at the school back in August.